Well, let's let's get three additional minutes from Maggie. There's no one upstairs, ma'am. Oh. They're they're not up there now. She brought her child. One I think of her, her children, left to, to give her more minutes to speak. By the way. Yeah. Go ahead, ma'am. Wait, you had three additional minutes, correct, ma'am? Yes, I do. And and you, the person that seated them, Maggie. Yeah, she's here. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. Go ahead, ma'am. Um, some of you know me from Southwest Florida Christian, which is a coalition of Catholic and Protestants who work on elections. And also, and our main goal is to keep our area family friendly. Some of you know me from uh, Preserve Paradise, which is a group of doctors, mental health advocates, and um, those who work in addiction recovery. Okay, so we did some research. There is no such entity as Preserve Paradise. This must be some kind of underground gang of doctors, mental health advocates, and people who are trying to help with addiction and recovery. Good for you. I love that. That's awesome. But don't make things up because that's what you do through your entire speech. We're going to keep going. And we also want to keep Collier low drug. How about drug free? So I want to thank you for proposing a ban on these pot shops. Pot shops. You have the best of both worlds compromise. People get it at their home if they want to use it. Mm. And uh, just a point of correction, they don't get it mailed to them. <laughs> they get it through courier. Okay. So the reason why you did that and you laughed and you chuckled, which I found interesting because the, the, the commissioners were chuckling with you too, is because the last time you guys said that, you sounded like complete morons because mailing cannabis through the mail is a federal offense, even though it happens every day. But the dispensaries, licensed dispensaries here in Florida can't mail uh, their products to their patients. Uh, they have to be couriered to them. And it takes three to five days. Uh, and there's also a fee involved. So it's not just, oh, they just get it in the mail or they just get it at home. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> you can't mail it to them. So they all get it within 24 hours right to their doorstep. Lie, two and to five days. also, um, we keep the pot shops out. Because don't, studies don't show that youth will increase, the youth inc use will increase when there's pot shops and billboards in an area. So youths will increase. Does that mean they fornicate, they congregate, they replicate? What do you mean by that? Uh, we're targeting youths. A billboard goes up saying, hey, th here's a dispensary for medical patients and kids are going to come around. Doesn't make any sense. Um, I will say that I'm a mom of three teens and three kids in their early 20s. And this to them is what big alcohol and big marijuana, big uh, tobacco was to our generation. So. Okay, so you stuttered because you're full of shit. And by the way, how many kids do you have? Is it three? Is it six? That was very confusing. And you're telling me that your teenagers and your kids that are in their early 20s are associating medical marijuana with, with, uh, with alcohol and tobacco and prohibition? That doesn't make any sense. You're full of baloney, babe. But let's keep going. Well, big um, marijuana is a multi-billion dollar business. That so is alcohol and pharmaceuticals. Youth, and their business model is to get everybody on the high THC. <laughs> yeah, that's what so we're trying to do. a lot of baby boomers especially think we're talking about the 1 to 3% THC that was available when they were younger. 1 to 3%? But now we're up to 100% THC. Another lie. There's no such thing as 100% THC products, babe. I have gone undercover. Ooh, and so undercover. has a lot of us in the drug-free community to these marijuana shops. And they sell... All the, up to 100% THC. 100%? Joints, and uh, vapes that are 80%. And what? All kinds of dab, crumble, sh uh, crumble, shatter, all that was sold on the street. Hold on, hold on. So, Wait a minute. You went undercover and you went to the dispensary and you saw 100% THC products, which is complete nonsense and it does is not true. And then you went to the street. You don't make any sense. You're fumbling around because you're full of dog poo. I'm from, I was born in Florida, but I did lived through it in California. That explains a lot. Six George Soros had the first <laughs> medical marijuana ballot initiative and he has supported everyone since. That is the loose ones and he supported the uh, call of uh, the Florida one also. Another lie. George Soros had nothing to do with the medical marijuana program. It was actually John Morgan uh, who championed the medical marijuana program. He bowed out in 2014, but got it passed in 2016. And it was passed as a constitutional amendment, meaning the people of Florida voted for medical marijuana. George Soros, are you serious? Gosh, go back to California. Uh, financially. And what they do is they bring oh, yeah. in these pot shops. They sell the drug dealer pot up to 100% THC. Drug dealer pot now. Um, you don't get it because it's illegal federally. There is not a prescription. It's a card. Just a card. It's basically, you get a card to go shopping. With. Yeah. No doctors are involved. There's no uh, recommendation involved. There's no interaction. There's no education. You just get a card and say, go for it. Come on. And um, then next, they, they, they legalize it saying you have to regulate it like alcohol. 
No, nope, that's a wacko group that had some initiative that it failed and uh, that has nothing to do with medical marijuana. That was a push for recreational here in Florida. As they saw in California in the summer, they couldn't even put warning labels. And we've had this since 1996 in California. We have massive homelessness that resulted and 90% of all the pot grown and sold in California is now done by the cartel. <laughs> Same with Massachusetts and other states oh my God. And early legalizers uh, in one form or another because that is the model. The, the medical marijuana kind of gets the uh, customers for them, then the cartels take Bring over. It. Oh, yeah, and yeah. what we have seen is just Seattle, Portland, uh, San Francisco, they're cesspools. They're cesspools because they're run by corrupt Democrats, which I'm pretty sure you are or you used to be and now you're converting over, but you still gotta kind of drop all the BS and the lies and corruption if you wanna become a conservative and live in a conservative area. Drug dealer pot? Listen, babe, everything's vertically integrated. Uh, the last grow license just sold for $53 million here in Florida. The grow license has to own the dispensary, has to own the distribution, processing of all the products. No, uh, no out-of-state product can come in uh, unless it's done through that vertical integration. You have no idea what you're talking about. No. And we don't want that here. We Who's don't we? want the, the visible drug culture here. It's already and, here, sorry. You know, <laughs> <laughs> as as said, look at the fruit of something. You have to look and examine these areas that have had this. And what? Why do you have to tell us that you're Christian? Usually, the ones that say that they're Christian, are the ones you need to keep an eye on. I'm just saying, uh, the one that touts the religion, the ones you got to watch the closest. It results in okay. And I have no personal animus against Nick Garley, the pot lobbyist who's sitting over there with his staff. But the. I'm a pot lobbyist and you have no animosity towards me? You, you just you just poked a fight, you poked the bear with claws. Why did you have to even name me? Why'd you bring me up? I'm sorry that your group doesn't like me and doesn't like my business model and what we do by helping people with debilitated conditions, but you started a fight, girl, so put your gloves on. Point is, you guys have to protect our quality of life versus the profiteers. We are the citizens. Profiteers. They're getting, the people are getting at their house anyway. There's no reason to put those pot shops here. When you say profiteer, are you meaning business owner, somebody who provides jobs for people in our community? Is that what you mean by profiteers? Because I need profit uh, to pay salaries, uh, to pay benefits, uh, to pay expenses, to pay bills. Yes, I live a great life, but I've always been successful since I dropped out of high school. Yeah, you heard that right. And you know, they are gonna say we want the same rights as pharmacies. First oh. of all, it's illegal federally. Second of all, their product by peer review studies shows a very serious link to suicide, psychosis, et cetera. I want to see those studies. associated with that. Yes, you can't sit there and overdose probably on THC. It's very hard. Wait, you cannot die from marijuana overdose. It's absolutely impossible. So at least you did acknowledge it, but then you try to write a rebuttal with all this nonsense. Here, listen to this. The death comes from other ways, just like with cigarettes for the prior generations, the death came through other ways. Like car accidents? What and do you mean so we other don't ways? want this here. And I'll just wait. say that um, we have record mental illness, record psychosis, record suicide. True. We don't want to be guinea pigs in this massive social experiment. Are you talking about the COVID-19, the COVID vaccine? What the hell social experience are you talking about? Babe, marijuana has been around since 10,000 BC, all right? It, it, no one's ever died from it. They, it's been traced back to Egyptian error. For God's sakes, you don't know what you're talking about, but you stand up on a podium and act like that you do. You stumble and fumble all over your words because you're full of baloney. And the biggest reason is you don't have local control over these shops, okay? And local control is how you maintain the culture of your county. Oh gosh. Because you can't control the number of them. You can't control the products they sell. And all these people are They're all lab tested. They push this They're controlled out. already. And in California, we have more pot shops than all the fast foods combined. Come on. Everywhere. You're also full okay. of and it, baloney it, here. Has things gotten better there? No, they were worse. Deep so state people move here you're because right. Because it's low crime and it's low uh, Very true. drugs. Very true, because we have the best friend. governor in the world. And that's why I moved here. I remember coming here from California saying to my husband, there's no pot shops. There's no there's pot shops. Oh my everywhere. God, so it's happy. so amazing. It's like a land lost in time. It's like small town culture. I love it. And that's why we came here. So many families feel like I do. So I just want to thank you for doing that. Thank you. And, um, thank you. Thank Appreciate you so that. Much. Thanks. Thank you so much. Do you, speaker. do you see the ridiculousness that we're dealing with? So uh, when I got up and spoke finally, I was so unhinged that I could barely complete a sentence because I had to listen to several speakers like this. Stay tuned. We're going to make a lot more videos. But this girl is full of dog poo poo.